What's up, everybody? Back for another episode of Matt Chat Live. I am here today with a friend of mine named Tolik, and we are going to be talking about some amazing stuff that uh, comes from, we'll be talking about hockey, we'll be talking about sports, we'll be talking about kids, uh, we'll talk about all kinds of fun things. So before we do that, I just want to give everybody a chance to meet how awesome you are with your cool, long, rock and roll hair. And roll <laughs> hair. I used to have some long hair, too, back in the day. I can't even grow hair anymore. <laughs> So anyway, hello, Tolik. Welcome to Matt Chat Live. Hey, Matt. Thank you for so much for having us on. It's it's a real pleasure. We yeah, appreciate man, it. To be here. Why don't you tell folks a little bit about you and uh, and what you're doing and what you're here for today? Uh, absolutely. So we're here to uh, spread some awareness of our missions. Uh, we are a nonprofit children's uh, or organization. Uh, we support facilities and, and underserved communities and underprivileged families uh, to help children continue with their extracurricular activities. Uh, we are derived mostly through the sport of hockey to begin with, but we want to also get into dance and performing arts, uh, art. Uh, so what we do is we collect and donate secondhand and new sports equipment. Uh, we all know how fast uh, children grow out of their equipment. Uh, yeah, so we like to, work to expensive, right I need to <laughs> um, yeah. next week too what yeah <laughs> yeah so anything from like hockey gear football uh so like i said we're, we're mostly derived th uh, through the love and through the sport of hockey to begin with but obviously we'll get into other sports as well uh we also raise funds uh, for registration and cost fees for travel and home uh home league teams as well uh, every, every family knows that the, the registration cost fees aren't cheap either and especially through tough times uh, that we're going through at uh, at this moment uh so we'd really like to support the communities and, and the family members that involved with uh, within them um and, and mostly get kids involved and engaged uh to continue with with their programs uh, we feel like uh kids shouldn't miss out uh on the things they love to do on a daily basis uh so yeah, that's yeah. what we're currently doing now yep well that's pretty amazing and uh, no doubt <laughs> Sports ain't cheap. We know that. Nope. Well, anybody that's a parent know, knows what that is like. And uh, you brought up dance. I mean, I had no idea how expensive dance was. I think dance is way more expensive than football and baseball combined. But that's a whole other story. Uh, so yeah. that's the benefit to be able to find some of the resources like what you have. And I know you started um, uh, really on a local level. And you uh, you started, well, your, your company started off doing some face mask things for COVID got kind of popular through the sports that way. And it kind of went into some other areas working with, uh, with sports teams and using what well, sports teams like kids stuff, right. For schools and providing stuff for kids that don't have equipment or, or things of that nature that really took off yeah. for you. So, so how did that really happen for you? How did that whole process start moving for you? I mean, you just wake up one day and say, Hey, I want to do uh, used equipment and start giving to kids. I mean, how that happened? Yeah, I mean, when uh, when this whole pandemic at the peak of it, when it, when it all started okay. and face masks were nowhere to be found, uh, we teamed up with with, uh, with a couple in Brooklyn, New York, uh, with a seamstress and a production manager. Uh, and we kind of had a, a little bit of a unique approach. We took our own jerseys and our own shirts with already licensed logos on the shirts and jerseys and simply cultivated them into face masks. What we, were, what we started doing was uh, selling them to fans raising the funds and continue using the same material to donate to hospitals, for our first line employees, essential employees, or first responders, EMS stations, fire stations, um, local businesses. Uh, we were buying gift cards uh, for businesses and, and, and providing them to, to the hospital employees uh, to the point where some of the ex NHLers, some, some sports personalities took notice. Um, we built some social media platforms uh, and it kind of took off for us. So uh, the idea was always to launch a not-for-profit organization. It took a little time for us to get through the federal and the state government levels. Um, but our real breakthrough, really what we're known for, is uh, getting associated with and partnering up with uh, with the New York Rangers organization, uh, which is, I mean, you, if you're a fan of a sport or a celebrity or, or an entertainment industry, and then finally they give you a call to have the opportunity to donate something to them. So they gave us a call uh, prior to the playoffs of last year, and we were able to to provide each and every single player and coaching staff their own custom face masks, uh, which is, is pretty cool, you know. I bet you the day you're like, you're like, uh, we'd be happy to do that. 
Okay, thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> that that's per, that's that's pretty much how, how how it went down. Except there was a couple of tears shed to begin with. You know, we like to take. Uh, a, you, you try to stay at a humble level and excited at the same time. Uh, so it was it was it was a real mix mix emotion kind of moment. So, but it's definitely uh, a rewarding one of that matter. You grow up, you, a child, your whole life, and you're a fan, and you always expect the players in the organization to give something free to you, uh, whether it be a signed puck or a photograph or a selfie with the player. And here we are just, just a, a bunch of, you know, just a bunch of regular folks, regular fans, just, just having the opportunity to send it to them. So pretty much within that parallel within that time, we, we just got approved for our nonprofit organization certificate and our tax ID number. Uh, so we began to, to do a, a lot, a lot of other cooler things for for other families as well, and not just uh, I say hello to my son. It's it's Tyler. He's hey, uh, Tyler. You're he's... on you're on Matt Chat Live now too. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think about that, did he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My ki my oh, kids gonna love it stuff. as well. Yeah. So, um, but it, it's come to that point where this is no longer a part time. I mean, it, it never is 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 a part time gig. You know, um, giving back to the community is. It's definitely a, a full-time job. Um, so, I mean, the big goal here is to eventually make this our full-time uh, position. But uh, I, I kind of feel um, as to I, I, I kind of cheat my own my own self and, and my own community because if I can't give the same thing that I want for the community to my own family as well, I want this to be my nine to five after my five o'clock at home and I spend time with my own kids. Um, so that's the long-term goal here is to make this my nine five, uh, come home and have some time and do the same thing I do for, for, for the children of the communities that we work for. Yeah, so yeah. that's, that's what we're You're striving for. Right You're trying to eavesdrop on our call right now. I see how it is. Yeah. Right yeah. He'll, he'll, he listens to that. Yeah, he does. He's having a good time. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, uh, so I see you buddy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you got a lot of things you're able to do with with uh, kids. So did you start uh, in local schools? Is it just your local area, or are you able to branch out? Uh, you said New York Rangers. I'm not. I'm not a New York Rangers fan. I'm not anybody fan, really. <laughs> I guess Pittsburgh Penguins. We won't go there. But uh, oh no no no. Oh no, no. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, uh, when are when you it comes to anything outside of your area, or is that is that something you need to grow into, or what's that looking like? And that's exactly what we're, what we're you and I are here to do today, Matt. I mean, uh, we want to expand into other markets, into other demographic uh, uh, standings. Uh, we're currently in the tri-state area in New York, New Jersey, you know, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, uh, the surrounding states. But obviously, we'd like to expand nationwide and countrywide. Um, I mean, Ohio, Florida, any state. I mean, everywhere there are children's programs. Um, so we want to become uh, an actual facility one day, like YMCA or the Boys and Girls Club, but on a whole different, uh, more productive spectrum and a better atmosphere where there's actual uh, teams and extracurricular activities, like an after-school program, but a place where, where children can actually come and learn dance, music, sports. Uh, where transportation is provided, where uh, some of these uh, schools and facilities lack that opportunity to actually deliver the kids to the programs and to the things they want to do. Yeah, so, yes, yeah. care and stuff like that for right for real. Yeah, yeah. So we we have some some pretty cool ideas and some attributes, but uh, for the time being, uh, the, the this is the market that we're in. Um, and we hope to feed off of this and, and expand and, and do more of these podcasts and have individuals like yourself and train us to become better. Yes, yeah, awesome, man. And, and uh, the name of the business, Altronite, right? You said Altronite. And I yes. asked you earlier what that was, your nonprofit organization, Altronite. Altronite shines ultra bright. So uh, yes. you know, do that. That's pretty cool. So where did Altronite come from? That's an interesting name. Yeah. So uh, Ultra, uh, it's derived from the word altruist or, or uh, altruism. It's an individual or a group of people unselfishly concerned for the welfare of others. Uh, the night comes from Brooklynites. We were uh, raised in, in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, these are individuals or, or community members that uh, lend, lend their hands to help their neighbors. 
Um, that's it's kind of derived from those two words. So we took those two, we put them together, and Alternate was born. Yeah, that's fantastic. See, there's importance about Thank having you. stories behind things. When people just don't know what that means, uh, in, yep. down here in North Carolina, it doesn't the definition didn't mean anything to me until you just told me, right? So how yeah. are you able to get that story out, buddy? What are you doing? What are some ways you're able to get that story out besides podcasts? I mean, you're you're doing your bet right, right there. And of course, Tyler's probably a really really good guy who's up there telling everybody about it too, yeah. right? But uh, yeah, what are some other ways you're able to get out there? I mean, our, our major platform is obviously social media right now. We're trying to get some articles written about us and published. Uh, we contact some uh, some news affiliations and and uh, media platforms as well. Uh, we're pretty prevalent on social media, so we try to expand in that level. Uh, we're in the process of hiring uh, some some marketing agencies, which is going to take uh, some some finances for us. So at the moment, um, uh, we're trying to to raise some funds. We're trying to gain donors and grants. Um, uh, yeah. and, like I said, partners and sponsors to to help us out, and maybe some pro, some pro bono work f from some aspects. Um, but social media at, the, at this time and these podcasts uh, have been helping. Yeah. Um, so that's, we, we just keep working. We're, 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 we're going to achieve, we're going to achieve it. Yeah. You know, a lot of people that say, great job, buddy. You're doing fantastic. Awesome work. And then, you know, they don't yeah. give you a dollar, but that's an older story. Right. But uh, yeah. so there is a, you do have a website that is available. Uh, we got that here pulled up for folks to check out. And uh, by the way, speaking of donate that we're on a, that very same page where you could do that. Uh, there's a donate button here in the upper right hand corner when you go to the website at Ultra Night. Uh, and yep. on this page right here, there's a couple of things that talks about what you're doing. You've got um, go back over here so I can pull it up. There we go. So uh, where your side over here, you talk about where you've got these things where you're giving to kids, some of the second hand yep. uh, equipment and even some of the new stuff that comes to kids. Uh, on this side is a really cool thing that talks about supporting your cause. You've been officially invited to the Adam Graves Smile Zones 24-hour hockey tournament as a sponsor and partner. Display your donated funds there, so you got a great chance to do that. Speaking of donated funds, you have a goal down here for nine thousand bucks, only yes. three hundred ten dollars raised. Seven people. It's like your grandma and grandpa, aunt and uncle, a couple friends around the corner. So we probably need a couple more people to jump in on that and send some money, uh, especially if you happen to be in that area uh, in New York. Now. One of the things that you did mention to me is uh, um, that you had a chance, of course, with working with these kids and the sports team uh, that's helping to, uh, I guess, the New York uh, Rangers, right? You made masks for them. Are they helping mm -hmm. you at all with some of the stuff with donations? And I think you told me uh, off camera one time as we talked that you had some stuff come in and you've got so much stuff. Like it's packed. Yeah. Your whole house is like the warehouse central, right? And you're like, oh man, I gotta get this stuff out. So it's not cheap to deliver. It's not cheap to ship, right? And you gotta make sure stuff's cleaned and stuff is good, good yeah. work order. And that takes some time. Eventually, you have to get a warehouse, but uh, you got a bunch of stuff, don't you? Yes, absolutely. So we did partner up most recently with uh, the uh, they called the Hockey Foundation. We took in ten pallets of new and used uh, secondhand children's uh, hockey equipment. So, ten pallets. Yeah, That's ten a pallets. So it's currently sitting uh, in our garage. So we are looking for donors and sponsors and partners to help us rent uh, a warehouse and, and as well as deliver these things to to hockey rinks and sports facilities and after school programs. Uh, so, but just just as uh, we ask for things to come in, for things to go out. Uh, we are looking also for families. And organizations that are uh, that are in need of, of this equipment that, that we currently do have, uh, especially kids are coming back to their their programs and families are going back to work. Um, so some of the, some of this equipment is available right now for distribution, uh, but we are asking for support uh, for, like I said, for delivery, uh, for storage, uh, cleaning. Uh, volunteers are always welcome. Uh, Tell what area of New York are you in? We are in the capital region. We are in Albany, New York. Uh, we have three locations. We have one here, we have one in New Jersey, and we have one in Brooklyn, New York. Okay, so what would be an area where you would ben benefit from the most that a facility could be used as a warehouse? Uh, probably within uh, within the Al Albany, Schenectady capital region. That would be oh. probably the best since that's where I live and that's where uh, majority of the action happens but like i said we uh we look to support uh the whole state of new york uh, to the tri-state yeah. area 
But if you happen yeah, to be yeah. in the Albany area, around that area of New York listening today, anybody that's in that, that vicinity and maybe you manage a property or have something out there that you're familiar with, then uh, this guy right here is somebody you need to talk to that would say, hey, I need to get a building. Give me something place to put this stuff at, right? Yeah. yeah. For six months to a year, it'd be fantastic to get some 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 movement there, right? So maybe some folks out there that might have a facility that could uh, help out with this for this organization, not to mention it's a tax write-off. You can use it and donate your uh, the, the rent true. Or, renovation or part of it or all of it, however you want to do it. So that's fantastic. So what are some other things you said? You, you said you got a couple of things you want to do down the road. Uh, that's a big undertaking to do an organization where you're going to have, uh, you know, dance and sports and uh, tutors and I mean all these types of things that go on music. Uh, that's a lot of activity. It's a lot of organization. It's a lot of money, right? I mean, I've been through some of that stuff myself personally. I've been through yeah. some of the type of organizational work and uh, it doesn't come easy. Uh, is that something you would think you'd like to shoot for in the Albany area eventually and, you know, build something like that there and let it be the model and, and then expand from that? Is it what you're trying to do? Absolutely. And and the only reason is, is because I can oversee it on, on an easier basis. I, I do live here, but I do travel a lot as well uh, for work and, and for our not-for-profit. Uh, gas isn't cheap, but yeah. To begin with, I, I would definitely like to start in the area where I live, just like I said, because it's just over the oversight and, and the management aspect. Uh, but essentially, some of my dream locations would be uh, would be in the city, in locations like in Harlem and Bronx and Brooklyn and Queens, Long Island, Staten Island. Uh, that's where I was raised. That's that's where home is. Uh, that's where the heart is. Uh, and I know some of the communities firsthand uh, that would need work. Uh, it would need some of the assistance, but yeah, in the capital region here in upstate New York and Albany is where I would, we would probably launch our first uh, facility um, where they would offer the, these programs, uh, where there would be teachers and instructors and referees um, yeah. Yeah. Of, that, of that nature. So yeah. Some of your background, this whole new realm right here now with what you're doing, is do you have some <laughs> manager background, manager experience? Uh, is there Excuse stuff you had experience with working with kids in the past? I mean, you know, do you have some of those things that are in your toolbox already that you can apply to, to this type of work moving forward? Or Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I immigrated to this country eight years old with uh, my parents with not a lot in their pockets, so they couldn't really afford uh, the programs that we wanted to uh, participate as kids. Like ice hockey, it was, I mean, extremely expensive, especially equipment, so there was no shot in the world. We were able to... Uh, to manage to get ourselves on a, on a roller hockey team uh, and, and train from there. Um, so, but yeah, uh, essentially. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. We all got kids. I know. And I know what you're thinking right now, too. But uh, you, you um, can wait till after the show. It's going to be fun, I bet you. But that's yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I try to. I try to have them involved in it. Yeah, no doubt. It's a good thing, especially since you work with a lot more kids, yeah. right? So, but yeah. you said uh, no. Your your family. Are you first, first or second generation? Yeah. So we're first generation uh, uh, immigrants from Saint Petersburg, Russia. Uh, so we we take some some personal growth here in terms of not taking anything for granted and having uh, just ordinary equipment or anything. Uh, any assistance so i know we, so, yeah i know uh, your mom like, and dad came here and you were born you were born in the states when they got here no i was born i was born there i came here at eight years old so i got, six, old, right? I, so I got to experience Russia, that life in this life so it was a big transition for all of us you still speak russian fluently wow that's awesome you got you sound like you're straight up from new york too so <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, what, hey man, what you know, you know, you know, shop? oh, that's amazing. Yes, I have no idea what you said. I think it was something like you can make a donation at altruit.com. <laughs> 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 so, man, it would be pretty cool to do something like this here and in Russia, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, my, my uncle currently does work like this, he does it with the karate school. So, I'm, I'm trying to take a lot of his plans that, that, that he's doing there and implement it here. Uh, it's a little bit of a, of a different world uh, that, than, than here with, with different yeah. worlds, but um, yeah. That's amazing. And your wife is pretty supportive. I remember 
you and I talked one time. You're just jumping off of an airplane. We had a chance to chat, right? We're supposed to have work yeah. some stuff. Well, it didn't work out the right way for our, our timing, but um, yeah. you were busy body and she was there with you and we're all talking. So yeah, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a family thing, right? It is. So my wife and I, uh, we are the founders and my brother as well. So it's, so, 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 so it's a trio trio army my brother's the the arts and the graphic design she's uh she's planning uh and handling the finances and i'm kind of uh the marketing uh, uh expertise trying to get us off the ground here so we each have our our roles and our responsibilities and, and our positions uh we are looking to <clears throat> to bring on some like i said some volunteers uh or some individuals uh, through scholarship programs um uh so yeah i mean hopefully in the future we'll have some actual individuals on payroll uh, but right now it's it's just the three of us and sometimes yeah, yeah. family and, and friends helping us out so yeah well the best thing is folks if you have a chance to uh to head the website you can go to altronite.com if you live in that new york area in the tri-state area i think about that uh what was that cartoon it says in the Indian <laughs> tri-state area I think it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, Phineas, Phineas and Ferb, Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, yeah. Kept saying, yep. company, you've got the best nonprofit organization in the entire tri state area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So, if you are in the tri state area or if you happen to manage property near Al Albany, New York, uh, what a great opportunity to help them out with even some warehouse space. There's all kinds of warehouse spaces in, uh, in Brooklyn for sure, in the Queens and that whole area of the city. But uh, more specifically, in Albany, it would be even easier uh, for them to have a place where they can start storing some of this gear and getting it to where it needs to go. Uh, but uh, really, really thankful for you and thankful for uh, your organization, for your wife, your brother working together, for your son. You've one day probably going to be helping you unpack all that stuff in the garage. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. But thanks for what you're doing. Uh, it's amazing work. And uh, we really wish you well. And again, folks, one more time, if you want to head out to that website at ultranight.com, that's the best place to find uh, all the information you can about what they're doing. And they are going to be updating that website here shortly as well. There's some things we're going to transition to in that one, but you can donate there by clicking on the donate button or reach out to them directly there. So if there's one thing you'd like to say as we go out here for folks to hear as you go goodbye, what would that thing be? Never take any days for granted and always and always feel fulfilled. Mm, fulfilled that's, and take it for granted. That's 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 kind of what I'm living uh, day by day here, uh, and uh, try to steer my kids in that direction in that aspect. So I, I try I try not to take anything that I have for granted at this moment and try to try to keep fulfilled. So that's this organization keeps me fulfilled. My family keeps me fulfilled, and uh, that's. I think if you live by that and you tell yourself that every day, I think you're going to be a happy person. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're doing a great job, my friend. And um, I can see nothing but the best in your life. And because, well, obviously because givers get, you know, and the more you give, the better things come your way and you're not giving to get, you're giving because you get to give. And that's an amazing part of, of life. So my best to you. And again, once more time, folks, if you want to, have an opportunity to give, you can go to alternite.com. So thank you again so much for being with us today, Tolik. And thank you everybody for hanging out with us a little bit here on another episode of Matt Chat Live. We'll see you the next time.